Hi, I'm Avery. Today we analyze the main singles match of the 2017 Sudermen Cup. The two sides are China's Ling Dan and Japan's Nishimoto Kanto. I will analyze the two sides from the level of preparation ideas. If you like this kind of program, don't forget to click subscribe. Let's start with Nishimoto who and his coach have developed an unwavering offensive game for this match. Let's look at a few examples. Tremendous smash from Nishimoto, which uh, Lin Dan did well. Speed Nishimoto coming to the net. Oh, he did a lot of hard work there, Lindan. He's annoyed with himself for that. Yeah, he is. That's that's uh. This is how I interpreted Nishimoto's jump attack tactics. The biggest purpose of the Resolute jump attack is to simplify the game, shorten the rounds and avoid forming a long rally match with Ling Dan, who as viewers familiar with Ling Dan should know, was hard to beat in his long rally ability back in the day. And Nishimoto's strength in the attacking part was to cover up his weakness in the attraction battle. And from the results, Nishimoto achieved his goal, successfully shifting the focus of the fight from the attraction battle, in which Ling Dan excels, to the offensive and defensive battle in which he excels. It's, uh, it must be very difficult to, uh, to convince himself that, uh, that it's going to happen tonight. It's worth mentioning that the threat of Nishimoto's jump attack is mainly highlighted in the overhead area. Because when hitting the shadow in the overhead area, the body is more fully turned and the power of the muscle can be collected more than the forehand area. Plus Ling Dan is left-handed, so Nishimoto's overhead straight smash can just suppress Ling Dan's weaker backhand side. Next, Ling Dan took a brilliant counter measure, reducing control of Nishimoto's overhead area and replacing it with the forehand area. Uh, every day. Uh, and then go to and, and just see his shots live. Uh, which not only avoided Nishimoto's strong overhead area, but also defended Nishimoto's chase attack with his relatively strong forehand side, causing Nishimoto's attack to be much less effective at once. Oh, it's good enough. The problem is we, we, we must expect that uh past 15 uh, to have a chance to, to win the, the game.
despicable. This led to Nishimoto not daring to attack in the forehand area and could only fall into a protracted battle. But as mentioned at the beginning of the program, Lingdan's protracted battle ability is far better than Nishimoto's. So at this stage, Nishimoto can be said to be forced by Lingdan into the attack or so lose, not attack or so lose. Desperate situation, really a poor guy. Oh, he's pushed it. He's playing well within himself physically. He's just making Therefore, after a short trade off, Nishimoto decided to return to the offensive style of play, even though he knew that there was a trap in Lingdan's control of the forehand area. He could only grit his teeth and attack, because for Nishimoto, in the face of an opponent like Lingdan, attacking does not necessarily win, but not attacking must lose. And with this belief in letting go, Nishimoto really played several successful forehand attacks. Well, that's brilliant from Nishimoto, who stayed with Lin Dan all the way through that rally. And that's taken so successfully in the first game. Like you see it here. But in the end, Nishimoto was still physically exhausted by Lingdan's repeated consumption and eventually lost in two sets. Facing the top player Lingdan, Nishimoto scored 19 points in the first set and 16 points in the second set. Nishimoto's performance was already very good. From Nishimoto's head area attack to Lingdan's control of the forehand area, resulting in Nishimoto attack constraint, forced to form a protracted battle, and then Nishimoto in a protracted battle to lose, renashed the teeth to attack. This interlocking tactical game is the charm of badminton. In addition to the above rounds, this game there are many other exciting rounds here to the end of the program for your enjoyment. Like this type of analysis friends, do not forget to subscribe to me. I'm Avery, see you next time. There's more energy than, than him. Oh, that's amazing. That really is an exquisite backhand touch. to get down to making those retrieves and then getting well this time a slap oh that's it Nishimoto is flat out on the court and Lin many times and, and can play in, in various ways uh, so it's hard for the opponent to, to get the rhythm and to anticipate what's going to happen. Well that's something...
didn't put it in the right spot. every time in order to uh, to win a point great deception just for a second Nishimoto stayed back maybe on the